morning friends and dear students it gives me immense pleasure to be here again for my course flight mechanics in this course i am going to discuss about performance parameters like cruise flight climb flight maneuver flight descent flight take off and the landing flight as of now i have completed the two phases of the flight one is the cruise flight another is the climb flight and in this process i have completed the basics of generation of lift drag and its components parasite drag lift induced drag cdi and cd not and also we have discuss about drag polar that is cd is equal to cd not plus kcl square in previous lectures we have also seen about thrust required power required thrust available power required available range endurance velocity for the maximum range velocity for the maximum endurance minimum drag velocity this all parameters we have already discussed in in today's lecture i am going to discuss about minimum power and the air speed in this we will see how the minimum power we can achieve with a given amount of power i am dr vaid dwedi professor from institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad india i am from department of aeronautical engineering iari hyderabad in today's overview i am going to discuss about revision of my previous lectures minimum power required derivation of minimum power required these topics i am going to discuss and also i will discuss about some other topics so this revision of drag polar which we, we have already done that if we have this is the cd this cd is equal to cd not plus k cl square where k is equal to 1 by pi e aspect ratio e is oswald efficiency ar is aspect ratio this is defined as a b square by area s where b is a span of the wing and s is the area of the wing for rectangular wing ar is equal to directly b by c if you see here area s is equal to b into c so if we put here b divide b into b b square divided by b into c b and b cancel so you will get b by c so for, this is only applicable for a rectangular wing so this is about the uh, drag polar and if we draw the drag polar it will be like this it is a parabolic but in the real practice you won't get the parabolic this is the cd versus alpha so next we have already discussed in the previous lecture minimum drag velocity when alpha t is equal to 0 relation of cl and the cd not for maximum cl maximum cl we can find out that this cl is equal to under root cd not by k so this is the condition to to get the maximum coefficient of the lift minimum drag speed power required to maintain steady level flight this is also we have already done it now we will go for the derivation of minimum power required so 
this minimum power required is very important parameter if I just draw this diagram here. This is the power required and this is the velocity. So it will be power required will be like this. Plot will be like this. So a derivation of minimum power required. So the point where it is tangent, the horizontal, this point, this is the minimum power required, PR minimum. And this is the velocity for minimum power required, MPR. So this things I am going to here derive and then you will see here, we have already seen that PR power required is equal to under root 2 CD naught by CL to the power 3 by 2 plus CD naught L to the power CL 1 by 2 plus CL to the power 1 by 2 divided by pi E aspect ratio into W into W by SW divided by rho. So this equation we have already derived in my previous class. So now we will further this under root part here we will put inside and now we will get here PR is equal to C D naught root 2 here we will get C D naught rho V cube divided by 2 W by S W plus C D naught L into V plus 2 W by S W divided by pi E aspect ratio rho into V into W. This is the second equation here. So now we have to find out, we have to find out CL where power required is minimum. So taking equation 1, taking equation 1, it is here, I am just writing star 1 and this is the star 2. So star 1 here. So we can differentiate this thing with respect to the CL. So now del PR divided by del CL is equal to 0. This will be under root 2 minus 3 by 2 CD naught by CL to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 CD naught L divided by CL to the power 3 by 2 plus 1 by half 1 upon pi E aspect ratio CL to the power 1 by 2 into W under root W by SW divided by rho is equal to 0. So now if we simplify this here we will get minus 3 by 2 this will be 0 all the multiplying factor will be 0 so minus 3 by 2 CD naught divided by CL to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 CD naught L CL to the power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 upon pi E aspect ratio CL to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 0. Now if we divide by CL to the power 1 by 2 divide by divided. So we will we will get here 
and half also 2 cl so this will be r2 will go from here so you will you will get here minus will be out so 3 cd naught by cl to the power cl square plus cd naught subscript l cl minus 1 by pi e aspect ratio is equal to 0. Further, we can simplify that multiply by Cl square so you will get here 3 Cd naught plus Cd naught L into Cl minus Cl square by pi E aspect ratio is equal to 0. 3 Cd naught plus Cd naught subscript L into Cl is equal to Cl square by pi E aspect ratio. So here we will get that equation that just I will go to the next slide. So you will get the equation that Cl square minus Cd naught L into Cl pi E aspect ratio minus 3 pi E aspect ratio Cd naught is equal to 0. So solving this by quadratic equation minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So here a is equal to 1 and putting this all the value here I will get that pi e aspect ratio cd naught l plus minus under root b. b is this part is b. If you leave the L. So you will get here pi E aspect ratio C D naught whole square minus 4 into 3, 12. Pi E aspect ratio C D naught A, A is equal to 1 divided by 2. So this is the C L value which we are going to get. So here we will get a Cl is equal to pi E aspect ratio divided by 2 in bracket Cd naught L plus under root Cd naught L square plus 12 Cd naught divided by pi E aspect ratio. So this is the CL which we got. So this is the coefficient of lift. This is the coefficient of lift for minimum power required. Now we have to find out the velocity for this. Now to find the velocity for minimum power required. So we have to find out the velocity for minimum power required MPR. So we know that CL we know that the CL we have already derived previously that CL is equal to W by half 
रो वी स्क्वायर एस डब्ल्यू और v इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट टू डब्ल्यू बाई एस डब्ल्यू डिवाइडेड बाई रो इन टू सी एल नाउ वी हैव इफ वी पुट दिस सी एल विच वी हैव जस्ट नाउ रिसीव इन दिस इक्वेशन इन दिस इक्वेशन नंबर टू वी विल गेट द वेलॉसिटी v v फॉर मिनिमम पावर रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज इज इक्वल टू टू divided by टू divided by under root pi e aspect ratio c d नॉट l plus again under root pi e ए आर सी डी नॉट एल होल स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व पाई ई एस्पेक्ट रेशियो सी डी नॉट इंटू डब्ल्यू बाई एस डब्ल्यू डिवाइडेड बाई रो सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर ए मिनिमम velocity for a minimum power required so this is the velocity for minimum power required so this is called the this is called the v minimum power velocity velocity for minimum power required we have find out and this is called the v minimum power required we have to fly the aircraft in this so assume that this is your aircraft and how much power we required for a minimum power required at what velocity we have to fly so this is the velocity v minimum if you fly like this where your power consumption should be minimum this is depend upon the factors that is the cd not aspect ratio only these two parameters weight that is called w by sw that is called the load factor and the altitude at what altitude you are flying what is the load factor and what is the cd not only these three parameters are very important to achieve this things so if you see the cd not cd not is the cd is equal to cd not plus cd not lcl plus cl square divided by pi e aspect ratio so if we draw this thing in a plot cd versus cl if i draw the plot cd versus cl so it will come like this so it is here you will get minimum this is the cl and this is the cd so at cl this is the cl where you will get the cd minimum this is not at the zero that we have to take care of and this is cd is equal to cd not plus cd not l into cl plus cl square divided by pi e aspect ratio so here cd not is not is small if you take this small but actually it is not small the cd not l we are taking approximately zero a small value but in fact it is not the small and if we rewrite this pr minimum pr minimum then we will get this equation as 4 under root 2 into cd not to the power 1 by 4 divided by 3 pi e aspect ratio w whole under root w by sw divided by so so this is the equation for minimum power required of the 
given condition. So this I have done it. Now we will go to the next. Same thing I have here done it. Now climb rate derivation. Now we have to see how much is the climb rate for this condition. So what is the climb first? So I will just demonstrate here. This aircraft is on the runway. It is going like this and after running some distance when speed is sufficient to take off, pilot will make nose up and it will roll on the ground and it will go like this. This is called, called the climb, climb of the aircraft. So we are going to discuss here climb rate and we will see the derivation of the climb rate, how these climb rates are derived. So understand that flight phases of the flight, I have already discussed that first it will run on the runway, it is a takeoff, then it is climb, then it is cruise for a long time, then it is descent, then it will loiter around the runway like this, around the airport, then again it will descend and then it will land on the runway. So this flight mechanics, we are going to discuss here about flight performance of the aircraft. In this, we are going to take today in this slide about climb rate derivation, how the climb rates are calculated. So I will draw the first one aircraft and then we will see that how these things are working. So So this is the your FRL. I will just change the color for different things. This is your CG here. From here, this is the horizontal. This is the FRL. And then I will draw the relative wind direction, which is I will take the dark here. So this is the direction of the V velocity of the direction of the aircraft. Then I will see here that the uh, thrust, I will take the red because thrust is always hot. So I will write TA, thrust available from the engine. And now we will draw the lift. Lift is always perpendicular. Lift is always perpendicular to the relative velocity. So this will be perpendicular to this. This is the lift and drag is always parallel to the velocity. So this is here. I am writing. This is the drag. This is the lift. It is I think much. So I will not go very much. I will just write here drag D. Then this is the weight W. And if I make this is the gamma angle, that is the flight path angle gamma. Gamma is flight path angle or climb angle. This is the gamma and this is the velocity, the direction of the aircraft flying is this. This is the fuselage reference line which is indicating from tail to the nose and this is the thrust, direction of the thrust. Then we will see the forces, lift, drag and the weight. So these are the, so air, in this condition aircraft not traveling in straight and level flight straight and level flight. So here I have to put this angle also. So angle between FRL, angle between FRL and the velocity of the aircraft is alpha and between thrust and the velocity is alpha T. T stands for the thrust. 
So now we have to resolve these forces in the now to resolve the forces in direction of v that is the velocity and perpendicular to v. So first we will see in the direction of v. So if you see here v and d both are the opposite. So here if you see the forces which are acting in the direction of v and forces acting in the direction of w. So if you see here this is the also gamma and this force will be w cos gamma and one component will be here that is called w sin gamma. So now we will see that this d is equal to drag is equal to here we will have in the same direction we will have ta cos alpha t. So ta cos of alpha t minus w sin gamma. This is the equation number 1. Now we will see the perpendicular to the v. So L is the first component which is up opposite side, upper side and this L is equal to here we will see W cos gamma it is opposite to this L. So W cos gamma minus in the same direction of L one more component is here it is T A sin alpha T. So minus T A sin alpha T. This is the equation number 2. So for steady and level flight, for steady and level flight, drag we will write SL is equal to T cos alpha T because gamma is equal to 0 and the sine gamma is equal to 0. So w sine gamma is equal to 0. So this term here will be 0. So this drag will be t cos alpha t. If you see here that this velocity component v, this is the horizontal, this is the vh and this is the vertical component and this is the gamma angle, this is the vc. This is the rate of climb and this rate of climb is equal to Vc is equal to V sin gamma. This we have already understood and we have already done this problem. So now from the equation, if you see from the equation number one, equation number one, we can get value of gamma in terms of sin gamma. So from here equation number 1 sin gamma is equal to T A cos of alpha T minus D divided by W. This is but we know that V C is equal to V C is equal to V sin gamma. So we can write this as a V C here. V C is equal to V into sin gamma and sin gamma is equal to T A minus cos alpha T minus D by W. So V into T A cos alpha T minus D divided by W. So if we take here that Some simplicity we have to make it simplifying the most aircraft, most aircraft T by W will be very small. So T W is less than less than one. Also, 
gamma is also small. So here if you see sin gamma, sin alpha, so we can write here that Vc is equal to V into alpha t is equal to small. So cos alpha t is equal to 1. So here we will get Ta minus D divided by W. D is, we know that it is a power required. So Ta is equal to V into Ta minus Tr divided by W and thrust into velocity is equal to power. So power available Tr into V is power required divided by W and this is equal to power excess divided by W. So Vc is equal to excess power divided by W and we know this Pr we have just now we have solved this Pr. Pr is equal to, we know that it is CD naught rho V cube divided by 2 W by SW plus CD naught L V plus 2 W by SW pi E aspect ratio rho v into w. So this we can put here, this value here and we can get the rate of climb. So this is my this derivation which I have completed. In the next lecture we will be discussing about the sink rate, maximum sink rate, glide ratio, best glide speed, effect of wind on best speed best speed to glide typical value for design parameters these are very important for uh, in this climb performance and we will be discussing in next slide these are the references that is anderson jd junior aircraft performance and design inter international edition megra hills First edition 1999. Second reference is SL by ME Aircraft Performance Theory and Practice AIA Education Series AIA. Any questions you are welcome to ask. My email is ydduedi at the rate gmail.com. I also request you to like and subscribe my this channel. Do comment if you feel anywhere I have done mistake or you are not understanding for any clarification. You can write the comment also. You can send the message in this mail. Hope you like my this video. Thank you very much for the joining. Be tuned for my next lecture which is coming very soon. Thank you and goodbye. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.